Good afternoon, guys. I'm Logan from the Backwoods and this suit. Today I'm here. I had a lot of people been asking me how to make a ghillie suit because they've been looking at my predator hunting videos. They've been looking at the pictures. They notice I'm wearing a ghillie suit. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a hunter's version of a ghillie suit. So pay attention. You're going to learn a lot. Catch you in a bit. I've made many ghillie suits in my lifetime and started probably about when I was 12 or 13 years old and I was 4-H I was in 4-H shooting sports and anyone from a rural area should know roughly about what 4-H is. Basically it is rural kids making projects in a club and they have a fair every year. So you make a project, you get graded, they get sent off to the state fair if it was good enough. That's whenever I started making my ghillie suits. My dad bought a video on how to make them and it's called The Art of, Art of Camouflage. So I watched it and it got me interested in all this stuff. So I've made many ghillie suits in my life. My very first one was called a bush rag. And all that was was a net with a hole cut in for your head. You just draped the net over your body. And the burlap that I'll show you here in a little bit was tied onto it and all the other natural stuff that you wanted to put in there you could because of that net. Then I evolved over time and I realized that the bush rag was not the way to go because I took a squirrel hunting. I had way too much burlap on there it caught everything so if it would catch a briar that patch would go way over here and you'd have to rip it off it just was what it wasn't what I thought it would be so I evolved into how I was gonna make my ghillie suit then I started making just jackets or the net I would sew with fishing line onto there because the, uh, the regular thread it was not necessarily weak but if it got wet and damp over time it might rot away so I used fishing line and sewed the net to the jackets and that was time consuming. So then I evolved even, even more by gluing the net on to the fabric with adhesive that was meant to glue onto fabric such as shoe goo or anything like that. You can buy all that stuff at Walmart. But I've made them in just jackets and I've made them in full body flight suits which is basically just coveralls for civilians out there. And they've done me, they've done me justice. I've made many of them, probably about seven or eight and all of them I've wore hunting and as you can see in all my videos when I'm prairie hunting that's my choice thing to wear I, I love wearing ghillie suits now when you think about a ghillie suit you don't want to make it to try to look like a bush all right? the point of the ghillie suit is to make it look like nothing's there make you look like nothing that's the point of the ghillie suit you don't want to try to look like a bush or anything like that you want to look like nothing so the basics of what you need is a base and for this hunting ghillie suit that I'm going to show you how to make this is the base I chose it's just a field jacket camouflaged already and you can have a hood or you can have it unhooded this has a hood that you just stuff in to the collar and you just zip it up and now you don't have a hood the reason that I like a hood on there is because if you're making a ghillie suit you either have to have a headpiece as a hat and you put a net on there and you tie the burlap to it or you have a hood that you can just sling over any type of hat that you're wearing. So I like the hood because sometimes you might forget your headpiece back at home when you're on the hunt and now you're out of luck. So this is a base. What we're going to do is I'm burning daylight right now and I'll show you whenever I get back to the room. We're going to put net onto this fabric and then we're going to tie burlap strips onto this fabric as well. And I'll explain it all as we go along. But the major difference between a military ghillie suit and the one I'm going to show you how to make is a military ghillie suit, snipers use it, they operate mostly in the prone, crawling to their objective, taking their shot from the prone because that's the most sta stable shooting position. So the majority of their camouflage is on the back side. Now as hunters, we rarely ever shoot in the prone unless we're in an open area. And how often are we in an open area? If you're out west, maybe more than maybe more than not. But me as a hunter, I'm usually sitting down, up in a tree stand, or I'm walking through an area. So our camouflage needs to be on the front as well as the back. And that's what I'm going to show you how to imply to your base here in a little bit once we get back to the room because it's going to start getting dark here soon. That's the major difference that you, I want you to take away from this. Also, instead of just the front, the front of your arms needs to be camouflaged as well. And one tip, actually two tri tips that, I, that I've 
learned when making ghillie suits, the longer you make your burlap, just the lo it just gets in the way. And the more burlap you put on there, the heavier it is and the hotter it is. So you can put a little amount of burlap on there and still break up your outline. Because that's what all the ghillie suit is. It's camouflage. It's going to break up your outline to make you appear as if you're nothing. So I'm going to take this back into the, into the room and I'm going to show you step by step how we're going to make our hunting ghillie suit. Catch you in a bit. Hey, this is the material that I got. I got camouflage netting. It's, this is roughly 10 foot by 8 foot. This was the most expensive piece. This was 30 bucks. But this net, this camouflage netting, it already naturally looks like leaf. So this is what I prefer to use. In the past, I've used just fish nets with about an inch, inch openings. You can tie the burlap into it. But this is what I prefer to use. This is what I'm going to use to glue the net to the fabric. This is shugu. All right. This is what I like to use. Now this is my burlap. This is just burlap from like a camouflage blind. You can buy it at any hunting store, Walmart, whatever. It's already got a camouflage pattern or appearance to it. So I'm going to use this. This is also bigger than what I'll need to do or I need to use. So I'm going to have a lot left over. There's a couple different ways you can use burlap or make burlap. Burlap, as in potato sacks, you can buy them straight up. And what you'll do, that's only just a tan color. So you'd want to get dye, such as green, brown, or black. I personally steer away from black because dark objects in nature attract your eyes to them. There's nothing pure black in the woods. Shadows make stuff look black, but it's just an off-color black. So if you make something pure black, your eyes are going to go straight to it. That's just a natural thing. So you would cut, take your potato sacks, and you would uh, throw them into the dye. And the dye, the very first batch, is going to be a dark green, dark brown. And every batch after that is going to have a shade lighter and until you get to a light color. So you can do it that way, and you'll have all different types of colors. But for speed purposes, I'm just using camouflage blind knit uh, burlap.